good angle. Welcome back to Flash and Maple. It's a channel about being up close to our games. Why did you have to talk like? Butterfly fly away. Gotcha. Zooming out. What kind of janky setup do we got going on here, you know? Good job. I can almost see it. That dream I'm dreaming. There's a voice inside my head saying, You'll never reach it. Do you know that song? Every step I'm taking. Every move I've made feels lost with no direction. My face is something. Come, my lady, come, come, my lady. You're my butterfly, sugar, lady. Come, my lady, you're my pretty baby. You'll make your legs shake. You make me go crazy. What's that band? Come and dance with me. Come and dance with me. What? What's that band's name? Oh, jeez, I don't remember. And welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and butterflies. I knew you were gonna do that. Butterfly fly. What's away. that from? This? This is from Napoleon Dynamite. Only he's like this. Mm -hmm. We are back today with another pumped up Kickstarter. And we are here today to talk about a little game called Papillon Garde. Papillon Garden. This is Papillon Gardens, and this was sent to us from Colossal Games, who is sponsoring this preview. Thanks, bing, Colossal. Bing. Now, there's a few things to know. Number one, prototype. Okay? So, any footage that you see, 100% subject to change. French and English. Papillon means butterfly in French. C'est la life. This is a roll and write, nay, a stamp and write, nay, a roll and stamp, and a combo of all of those things. A roll and stamp and write. A roll and stamp and write. This game is coming to Kickstarter on April 25th, and all of the information will be linked for you down below. It's for one to five players and plays in around 30 minutes. Uh, we've played it at two. I played it solo as well, and Jeff has played it at two. So to get started, let's jump into a little overview, shall we? Sure. Welcome gardeners! In Papillon Gardens, players unleash their green thumb by designing the best garden. Players make their mark by stamping flowers, attracting critters, and building special features, all to score the most points. Flip, roll, and stamp your way to victory, building the most beautiful of gardens. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the overview. And I'm sure editing Jamie put many butterflies in it. Papillon Gardens is a roll and stamp and write. Roll and stamp and write. Roll and stamp and write. And basically what you're doing, very, very simple. You've got three stacks of cards. And on those cards, there's going to be three different things that you get to do. Mm -hmm. Number one, there's a circle in the top that's going to tell you that you can do something. Maybe it's build a wall. Maybe. Maybe it's fill in a bubble. Maybe. Or maybe, maybe it's pick it's... up a feature. Maybe it's put a feature out. In the middle of the card, there's going to be another action. Usually, it's going to be either a flower, which you would stamp. Or a butterfly. Or a butterfly. And what do you do with the butterflies, Jeff? You move them around on your player board, which mm -hmm. is basically like a field. Think of it as like your garden. Sometimes you might also see a field in the middle of the card. So you might draw a field. And what are fields good for, Jeff? Fields are good to draw different little critters, critters. to your garden. Critters and features, okay? And then the third thing that you can do off of the card is there are what we call caterpillar dice, okay? And what you'll see in the video is the caterpillar dice are very small. They will be bigger in the final production copy. Mm -hmm. Each of the cards will be assigned with a caterpillar dice, and the caterpillar dice will have a bunch of different things on them. It could have caterpillars, which lets you fill in some caterpillar bubbles. It might have a little pencil, which allows you to fill in any bubble. Mm -hmm. It might have a field, so you can draw a field, or it might have brambles. Brambles are bad. Brambles are bad, but usually the dice that have the brambles on it are like, they give you like a bunch of different things you can do. So it's almost like you can do these three things, but you have to also put a bramble down. Exactly. So essentially there's going to be three choices for you. You get to pick any one. Jeff and I could do the same one if we want, mm -hmm. or we could do different ones. It doesn't matter. You do whatever the card says. You stamp your stamps. You draw your stuff. You do your features. You fill in the bubbles. 
that's the game. It's played over 10 rounds. Now on every even round, there is a bubble that you're gonna fill in that's going to give you something that you can do. There is essentially always something that you can do. Definitely. Like, it's and then- Very snappy. Some. It is, what is the thing that it is, Jack? Snappy. And? combo -rific. That is exactly the word I was looking for. combo -rific. As many roll and rights are, it's kind of something that you just expect at this point. Yeah. But essentially, like, you're going to fill a couple things in. Maybe you'll even fill in a gnome hat. What do the gnome mm. hats do? Gnome hats allow you to do an action of any option. Any option. You can do whatever you want with the gnome hats. Yes. Because the gnomes are like, hey. Let me help you out in your garden. Do you. whatever you They're want. They're magical creatures. They're things. magical. You're filling out different bubbles, and then you're making sure that you're doing the combos, you're completing all of the tasks that are on the cards, and then once you've done all of those things, you flip a card, you roll the caterpillar dice, and you go again. And mm -hmm. you do that 10 times. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different things that you can do. We've talked about some of them. Jeff also mentioned the critters. So you've got two sheets in front of you. One sheet is going to be your field, yep. or like your garden. Garden, your garden. Your yep. garden. In the garden, there's also some field spots. The field mm -hmm. spots you need for critters. If you don't have an empty field, guess what? You can't put a critter. Or you, a feature. Or a feature, exactly. The butterflies are zipping around the garden, and the flowers are being stamped in the garden. Mm -hmm. So how do you score points? Great question. You're going to score points for each flower that you've stamped. You're going to score points for each patch of flowers. And how many flowers is a patch? Three. Three flowers of the same color. You're going to score points based on patches of flowers that have been enclosed. With walls. With walls, exactly. Yeah. Think of it as like a little flower box. Yes, exactly, a flower box. You're going to score points based off of the features. And some of the features might be like, if all of the adjacent spaces have a different color flower, mm -hmm. score eight victory points. Yeah, there's like a pond where if it's, I can't remember exactly, but like all of the features are thematic for a garden. It's like a gazebo, a pond. Birdhouse. Birdhouse. Shed. Shed. All of these like garden-esque things. Exactly. And they all score somewhat differently. They all score differently and you get to choose whichever one that mm -hmm. you want to use when you do a feature. And some of them are going to give you immediate effects, some give you ongoing effects, and some give you end of game effects. Correct. Lots of things there. Then you have your second sheet and on your second sheet you've got your big long caterpillar. You're just filling in bubbles to get combos. Combo, yeah. Then you got your flowers and you're crawling up them stems to make mm -hmm. sure that you can stamp more flowers. Yep, then there's a rotating little flower option. You can go, flower. you have to go in one direction. Yep, but, um, great band. If you get to the end it's like two gnome actions back to back. Yeah. Wild. Kiss. And then at top of that is the critter track and the critters are going to score you different points and some of the critters are really easy to get like you might have ants. to fill in one bubble like ants or there's like this tiny little bird or they might be really hard to get like the frog where you have to um, fill in three bubbles but it's worth 10 points mm -hmm. whereas the ants are worth two points. Yeah and the ants can go instantly but like you have to kind of plan to get the frog out because again mm -hmm. it takes like three bubbles to fill in to get the frog out but it's worth more. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's the game. Mm -hmm. Who is this game for, Jeffrey? I think this is a really, really interesting choice for people that enjoy that nature theme. Mm -hmm. You know, like, and there's many of those games that are coming out now. And I think that this really feels like you're actually building out a garden with flowers, with critters, with features, buildings, with fields, and all of these things. It does feel like very whimsical nature feeling and the stamps like i've never played a game of stamps before that's super unique it's super unique. and they're also very colorful mm -hmm. and fun and it's interesting because like you have to draw all of these things in so it ends up looking very cool if you're a good drawer i'm not but it's also kind of funny because you look at your things and you're like that's supposed to be an ant <laughs> also very uh limited barrier to entry Definitely. And it's definitely, if you are someone that enjoys the roll and write or the end write genre, this gives it a really unique kind of spin because you are like rolling and you are writing, but you're also stamping. And you also have a little bit of like, as Jeff kind of mentioned, like artistic freedom. Mm -hmm. So it will basically say, you can draw this however you want to, but here's a suggested yeah. shape. Like for people, as an example, when you play cartographers with like color pencils, mm -hmm. who want to make everything look really Super nice. Yep. You can play this game and make it look 
really, really nice. Like okay. if you are an artistic person, I can see this being the kind of game that you play kind of like cartographers. And at the end, you're like, look what I made. It's so pretty. I think there's going to be a lot of people that enjoy playing this solo that mm -hmm. are artistic and then play it. And then like, I just want to make this super beautiful yeah. little garden and exactly. enjoy not only, I think not only are you going to enjoy the game, mm -hmm. I do think it's going to hit a bunch of different little parts of your brain Yeah, where it's like, this is really fun just to draw. Mm -hmm. and make this look really awesome and the the bright colors of the stamps tied in with those little features that you're drawing like i could see at the oh the end of that game not only enjoying the play of it but also looking at it in front of you at the end yes yeah. and who this might not be for or i guess like let me just put it into a range for you let's say we've got like fleet the dice game and three sisters and hadrian's wall like on this end in mm -hmm. terms of like heaviness for roll and write and then you've got that's pretty clever on this end i would put this somewhere within the middle of that in terms of like combos yeah and stuff. i struggle for context for people like me mm -hmm. that might struggle with some of those bigger comp way super combo y roll and writes i struggle with those because i lose track yeah i'll lose track of that thing does that thing. I didn't feel that in this game. This is a, I'm going to sit down and have a coffee. It is a very good coffee. It's a cozy, chill game. cozy, yeah. chill game. So Agreed. if that's kind of what you're looking for, I would say. Do you know what this no is, further. Jamie? What is it? A cottage game. This is a cottage game. Yes, it is. And it's an excellent springtime game. It is an excellent springtime game. Yeah. Maybe it'll show up on the list next year. Anyways, that is Papillon Gardens. If you are interested in this game, check all the links down below. Make sure to follow the Kickstarter page. If you're interested in buying board games, now not this one. Yet. Yet. We literally just said you've got to go to Kickstarter. But other board games. Yep. Other games by Colossal, even. You can first start by checking your friendly local gaming store. And for us, that is... The Boardroom Game Cafe. Yes, it is. And you know what else you can find in the garden? Snacks. And you know where else you can find snacks? Munch Pack. Munch Pack. Bing, bang. Bing, bang, boom. Okay? Bing, bang, check boom. out Munch Pack. That is all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see... Please subscribe. We hope to see you again soon. And now we say goodbye. Goodbye. Later days. Ready, Freddy? I'm up real high. How high? Real high. You can't be in the shot already, Jamie. Come on. Oh, good point, Jeff. What is it? Keep Jamie? the mystery alive. Is that an octopus arm? Yes, Jeff. What's <laughs> the sound effect? That was you know a joke. Song... That was a joke in the Discord. This is a this is a different topic, but do you know the song Say La Vie by Bewitched? Mm -hmm. Say it's true. I do. Say I, you don't need to sing it. I know what it is. Say La Vie. I know the song. You don't need to sing it. Say you will, say you won't, say you'll do what I don't. I don't get what, why say la vie doesn't make sense in that. Say you will, say you won't, say you'll do what I don't. Say it's true, say to me, say la vie. Does it say, hey, say boy, to me such as life? Tree. Na, 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 is the room for me? I that's, got a house with windows and doors. That I'll just show screams, you mine if you show me That just screams yours. to me that they don't know what say la vie means. Let me they in. just thought it sounded cool. Hey, 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 let the fun right, begin. It's been good to see it. Hey. Oh, God, that's going to drive me crazy that I couldn't finish the lyrics, but it's fine. So, Papillon Garden She's got is... something. Should I run up? Probably. That'll give me time to Usually she won't go back when I go up and yell at her. Yeah, it. true. Say you will, say you won't, say you'll do what I don't. Say it's true, say to me, say la vie. Hey boy, sitting in a tree, ba da ba 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 Nah, not for me. I don't really like them. No, I just brush my teeth. You, it's come gonna bug lady, me. Come, come, my lady. You're my butterfly, sugar, baby. Come, my lady. You're my pretty baby. You'll make, make your shake. shake. You, you make, make me go crazy. crazy. Come and dance with me. Don't tell me it. Tell me the first letter. C. C. It's in the lyrics, sort of. Yeah, it's sugar something, isn't it? No, you're thinking Sugar Ray. I don't know what it is. Tell me. Crazy Town. Crazy Town! <laughs> 
Are they Canadian? I don't know. Do other people know about Crazy Town? They must. Maybe. I don't know. Are we aging ourselves again? Is Crazy Town... No, they're from L.A. Brothers Murph might know them. Probably. Maybe it is them. Maybe. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> that was their job before they became the Demo Bros. That's so good. And then before they came the Bros of Murph. Okay. The Demo Bros. Demo Bros. All right. So you're going to get spoints. Spoints. You're going to get spoints. You're going to get some spoints. 